Every week new Flutter and Dart packages are released. In this video we talk about the top 10 in terms of likes. Among them are new customizable widgets, a package that improves the use of app widgets, an onboarding editor that does not require any code and 7 more releases that made it into the top 10. Welcome to SyntechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with the releases of Calendar Week 45. Displaying dialog boxes in Flutter, this is quite simple. But from a purely design technical point of view, you can't impress anyone with it. With the package Aesthetic Dialogues, this changes. It offers you a lot of nice and customizable dialog boxes. There are 8 different types to choose from, dark mode is also supported and the usage is easy and self-explanatory. If you are not satisfied with the ready-made designs, you have the possibility to customize everything according to your own wishes. One more thing to be aware of, the package only supports Android at the moment. And also for switches, there's a new package that offers many customization options. With Flutter Advanced Switch you get a widget that gives a lot of freedom for the design of your switch, for example the color, shape or size. If you know Icon Scout or View Unicons, the package Flutter Unicons might be interesting for you, which offers over 1000 SVG icons which are inspired by these two vendors. Last week we talked about the package FireFlutter which supports you in developing social apps based on Firebase. Another package of the same kind is also available this week, namely Firebase Chat. Interesting for all who want to realize a chat function with Cloud Firestore. To create an Instagram story you need two things, Instagram and a good story. If you want to create such stories outside of Instagram, you should take a look at the package Story Designer. Ok, now it gets technical. Let's talk about compression. Data compression is a process that condenses data with the goal of reducing the need for storage space or increasing the transmission speed. There are many different compression types that make this possible. Some of them can now be used with the help of a new Dart package, namely ES compression. If you know the developer Rody Davis, you might have been introduced to the term Master Detail Scaffold. In one of his videos of his Take 5 series, he shows how to create a responsive scaffold without the use of packages. I don't know if he also invented this term with this video, but it was through him that I first became aware of it. There are some packages that provide such responsive scaffolds and with Flutter Admin Scaffold another one is added. If you haven't seen the Take 5 series, be sure to check it out, links in the description and if you need such a functionality for your app and want to realize it with a package, then take a look at Flutter Admin Scaffold. Displaying app widgets, not widgets in the sense of Flutter, but widgets that can be displayed outside the app is not yet possible with Flutter. But it looks like there are diligent developers who are trying to close this gap. With this week's number 3, namely the package Home Widget, it is not possible to create an app widget with Flutter alone, you still need native code for this, but you get an interface to send, receive and update data. Who does not like to control things from a distance? What if you could control the access to your app remotely? With this week's number 2 Flutter Protected Work, exactly that should be possible. All it takes is the widget Protected Work and its 5 attributes that have to be initialized. First we have the URL attribute which requires a URL as string. Then we have Block Response which needs a text term as a string check interval which requires a duration object and then we have block message which also needs a text message as a string. According to the check interval the widget regularly sends a get request to the provided URL and if the response matches the block response the block message is displayed instead of the child widget which is the content that is normally displayed and normally accessible. And here we come to the number one of calendar week 45 with 13 likes and this is PEL, a so-called no-code onboarding editor which can guide the users of your app with instructions, help and tips either in full screen mode or as a small text box. 
The special feature about this is that the instructions can be created without code, but directly by using an interface similar to a content management system. The package is still in beta at the moment, but it looks very promising. I hope you enjoyed this video, I appreciate any kind of feedback, thanks to everyone who watches my videos and to every single subscriber. Watching the channel growing gives me a lot of energy and motivation. Thank you all, have a nice day and see you soon.